So here we are with another edition of Bands of Small Talk and the first episode ahead of the 2024-25 season. Before we kick off, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Peckover Transport. We give you results, not excuses. I'm delighted today to be joined by Manny Dominguez of the Bands of Supporters Trust. First of all, Manny, thanks for coming in and have you had a good day? I've had a good day and a good journey uh, over here. Yep, so. so would you like to give us a quick update on your name and what you do at the sp- what you do at the Bantam Supporters Trust, please? So uh, I, I'm, I'm the chair of the trust um, uh, and um, what did you ask me the first time? What you do at the... Oh, what, the what I do. So, so, so yeah, yep. so what I do. Chair of the trust, uh, and that normally... Um, Involves a, a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, we, we we do um we do do fan engagement with the club. Yeah. Uh, uh, I meet with the club about three times a year with Ryan Sparks and uh, and Co. Yeah. Uh, we we uh, have a s- survey um, with with our with our fans. Uh, we have a concourse. We have a stall in the concourse. Yeah. Uh, and uh, where we can meet. Uh, engage with uh, supporters. Yeah, that's brilliant. And obviously, this concourse. How can fans get into the concourse if they're not sat in the sun? Because I've always wanted to come and have a look, but I don't sit in the sun. Can fans come in and then go back to the other stands, or is that not possible? Oh, well, that's a good question. I'm not sure uh, entirely. Uh, I mean, the the only other way around it, because um, I, I don't think you would be able to do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you, you could simply just t- turn up to that main stand uh, and, and do that. But if we had more people, yep. you, you could. We could have more people outside the ground. Yep, exactly. uh, uh, with leaflets and, and what, what have you, uh, who were able to uh, give a bit of a spiel about the trust, yep. to tell people what it is, um, then they can engage with with uh, uh, supporters. Yep. And if people want to join. How could they join? Is it by social media? Do you have any links or anything like that on social yeah, media so, or your so, website? So, uh, we, we, on, our, on our website, we've, we've got a join form. Yep. Uh, we've also got on our website um, a, a payment form, a payment yep. thing. Yep, so put donations uh, in. Uh, d- donations and mem- membership, um, your, your subs, effectively. Yep. Uh, we've got a, we've, we've got a, 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 a um, it's, it's, We've got a basic free um, membership, yep. w- which you, uh, means you just get a, like a, um, a, an email directly yep. from from us. We've yep. got a database, and we can we can press a button, and and the articles go straight yep. to that, uh, yep. to That's emails. Uh, so we've got that, uh, but we also charge. Uh, and and, and um, we charge a minimum of a pound. Yep. Um, that is a, a, a share in the in the organisation. Yep. The organisation is is a, a cooperative, yep. and its mo- its model rules are based on as if you were running a club, yep. uh, like like it's it's the club because some supporters trusts and there are many of us, but uh, the many supporters trusts. Uh, um, the, you, you know the, the, they run as if um, some of them are owned by um, own their clubs, yeah. and and that that is a, a long term aim of 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 the support of all supporters trusts really fan yeah. o- fan ownership. Um, so uh, we have a social media profile. Yeah. So we we use the um, articles and we we. Uh, uh, through the meta thing, you can create a post, yep. and it sends it to different supporters groups. That's brilliant. Just with one button, and then you can sh- share it to other groups. Yep. So se- several um, uh, ver- various supporters groups actually get our communications as well. Yep. And um, um, yeah, uh, and and um, other things about what the supporters trust is about. Well, it's for the fans. Yeah. Uh, it's it's for 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 uh, Bradford City fans, uh, and uh, we we try and um, uh, get uh, what what fa- fa- fans concerns 
uh, through to to the club. Yep. That that's our bread and butter, basically. Yeah. Uh, we also do things like we're try, trying to get off the ground uh, d- diversity campaigns. Yep. Uh, uh, um, things like uh, de- developing like a, a commu- community arm and and all and all sorts, but. For that to 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 for us to get better about yep. with that, more fans need to to come and get yep. invo- get right, involved. Then. Yeah, That's absolutely fine. Then talking of last season, we were so close to getting promotion, and me as a personally think with the squad that we had, apart from maybe two or three players, we should have been should have been in the playoffs. If only we'd won Wish. against Grimsby or Forest Green, just one more point, three more points. Oh, Crawley. Oh, Crawley, yeah. I were away for that game, so I couldn't go to that yeah. one. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, we, that's, that's some... What's that? The washer or something? Oh, yeah, we'll let them go back. Anyhow, so I, th- I think um, we were inconsistent and some of the yep. football had been... Uh, yeah, some of the home were terrible. Dread, dread, some of them were brilliant. And, and, and they, you know, it was almost like they, weren't, they were bereft of trying, which, which yep. you know... Uh, we obviously had a good, really good run at the end of the season, but, but and had, in the middle. But we had, we had a really good run yep. towards end, and, and, right. I th- and, I, and I think uh, uh, we, we we kind of we got there in the end, but it was it took a long time for that to occur. Um, it, I, I I don't think I'd want another season like that. Yep. Uh, such a roller coaster. Yep, I know what you mean because some of the football won't. To entertain yeah, them, and hopefully, and I, I believe that Graham Alexander he can see where things are going wrong, and I do think he can be the final and be the manager to get the right team to take us up well, next season. Well, I, I, I think you, you, you I, I hope you're right, and and I want, I want, I want that to be right, yep. and and I think he he, he, he would take confidence from the the late running, yep, definitely, and um, and uh, uh, hopefully we we can. Get get the best get get the best the best crop, yep. uh, and and uh, have put a serious challenge uh, to 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 get promoted. Yep. Obviously, we brought a couple of players in already. Uh, Antonio Sasevich and um, the other player, I've forgotten his name now. But what kind of other players would you like to see? Would you like to see? I think personally, like to see another striker. Maybe the likes of Charlie Wake, who's rumoured to be coming back. With which it. No, I'm beginning to die, but I would like him back. Yeah. Uh, a defender and a midfielder, a Gary Jones type character. What about you? Well, what, I think, what do you think I th- we need. I, th- I think we need we need we need a, le- a leader, a, a leader, attacking midfielder, attacking midfield. So somebody, so somebody who can uh, really really kind of uh, command command the team and lift yep. the spirits up and uh, uh, g- give it some effort. And. Um, uh, mid midfield and attack. I, I think yep. w- I'd like to see some more attacking play, exactly. uh, rather than a lot sat of this de- de- sat back, try to defend, um, and, and sort of emulating what the other teams doing. When yep. we should just be caring about what our game yep. plan and is. And hopefully getting up where, over our video of losing to the promoted. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, we just need to concentrate on about our our strategy. Yep. Do a bit of research on what they're yep. doing, but just don't don't give in to some some of the negative yep. football we've seen uh, over the, over the last few seasons. Yep. How would you say your favourite player was last season? Um, I'd say Holiday. <coughs> I, I still like Cook, but Holiday, like year, absolutely a man's pal. He deserved his award, didn't he? Player of the year award. I think he deserved his award. Yeah, yeah, I, I really do. Um, I, I think there were, there was there were some players that that did did, did do. Um, well, yeah. I, I'm 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 pretty useless at naming names, Don't worry but, about uh, that. but yeah, I, uh, and 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 Bobby well, Poynton, obviously young player of the year, Bob, Bobby Poynton, yeah, star, yeah, glad he's staying. yeah, I'm glad he's staying as well, yeah, and and Mr. Cook, oh, yeah, he's a character, yep. isn't he? He's brilliant. He's a character because obviously all players they, go, they have form and they go out of form. Yeah, I, and I, he had a all bit those of a dip, people getting on his back just because he's not scoring as many as he did last yeah. season. That's yeah. right. Yes, it's, yes, it's, still, it's a brilliant place to me it's not always just about scoring it's about it's having the rest of your team friends yeah and you've got to enjoy the game if you, you don't do. if you don't enjoy the game it's like oh, you've got to find yep. out why what about your favourite player of all time favourite player of all time I would say Mark Leonard Mark Leonard I, it, it would always a player. 
It was always a trier. He definitely ran football. Yep. De definitely. Um, and another one, Brian Tinian. All right. Yep. Yeah, he did these banana little. Well, they weren't little, but they these free kicks were brilliant. He did these banana kicks. <laughs> he used to, That's he used brilliant. to curl them in net. You know, yep. really good. I quite. I've had quite a few. Yeah. Uh, Played like Carl Shaw. Uh, yeah. Graham Tonson. Yeah. Uh, Dean Windass, Robbie Blake. Yeah, Mr. Windass. Aaron Lee Ludwig. Mills. Lee Mills, yeah. Stan Collymore. Yep. Yeah, Stan Collymore. The one and only James Hatton, who used to work at the co-op. He used to work at the co-op, co and um, the other the other fella from Barbade. Not Barbade. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, Narky Wells. Narky Wells, he won't. Exactly. Barbade. Was he? Barbade. Peter Begra. Yeah, anyhow. Yeah. All them, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Bermuda. He, yep. he was from Bermuda, Narky Wells. So, uh Outside football, what do you do? And I, I do you follow any other clubs apart from Bradford? Because obviously people know that I do, and obviously Bradford are my number one. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm a secret Northampton fan because I, I, I used to live down there. Yeah. And uh, Sonny used to do a bit of shooting at some point. I, I used to do a bit of shooting. I used to do a bit of shooting there when I was student. Um, I, I did graphic design down there. I did yep. a national diploma there, Brilliant. high national diploma even. But uh, um, so things that th I, I, out of football, my interests are art. I like my graphic design. I, I like some of the, th the th um, posts that you get, some of the images yeah. that you get. Uh, I, um, my artwork, and um, I, I also do a bit of drawing. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like like to doodle, like to draw people. But you like to do it in a fun way, don't you? Like characteristic. Yeah, sort of yeah, cartoonish. yeah. Yeah, you've seen them, haven't you? You've seen yeah. them. On, on my Facebook thing, so yeah, so I like to do that, and I like gigs as well, like going to see concerts. Yeah, so do I. Uh, yeah, yeah, so do I. A couple of bands that I know as Sawdust, Sawdust and the Good Good Citizens. They're, they're both brilliant bands. Obviously, yeah. there's Mike Mitchell and Mark, my two best friends. Right. There's, there's Gemma. Yeah. There's, and then obviously there's Tom and James from right. the Good Citizens, and they do the Middle Road song. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen. Um, I seen, seen the singer. It, it, it was on his guitar. Uh, the city yep. gent a good few seasons ago. Yeah, and we'll just go for a, a couple more because we've already kept you here. This is obviously take two because everything's stopped working, but it sometimes practice is good. Um, yeah. Your favourite curry house? A cashmere. Yep. Or the Karachi. Yep. Mine, mine's the uh, Sizzle Loud Chain in Bingley or the uh, Sharma in Bingley. Or the International. Yeah, international, yep. Yeah. What type of curry do you like? I like a hot one personally. What's your favourite curry? I like I like a boona. Do you? A meat boona, yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna go for Barcelona or Real Madrid. <laughs> Barcelona. Good one. Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Yep. Anto Deck. Neither. Neither. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I used to love watching Saturday Night Take. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Uh, are you a person that gets up and sings the? Karaoke song? No. Don't no. ask me to sing a song. Yep. And Don't ask me. Before we sort of close this interview, because we'll just keep it a short one to keep fans sort of interested but not too long, is there anything that you want to say to fans? Any upcoming projects that you now want to promote ahead of the new season? And what are your hopes of the, of the new season? I think we should finally be aiming for the top two. We should be. We should be. Uh, realistically, I hope we are. We finish com comfortably in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, in terms of any sort of work that the trust is doing, we've we, this year we well in March we applied for uh, uh, the football ground to be uh, an asset of community value. Yep. Um, so that that works by um, it lasts. Uh, you have to renew it every five years. Yeah. Okay. And, and where the protection comes in for the ground yep. is, is when the owner um, uh, uh, announces uh, that he wants to sell yep. or she wants to sell. And then that allows uh, us six weeks to decide what to do about uh, putting a bid in. And, and then if we do want to bid, um, we, we have six months to, to have a campaign about raising the money. Um, it also allows uh, other bidders to bid, yep. uh, but it's a transparent thing, so it, it, it allows transparency so fans know um, 
who was bidding and things yep. like that. So um, it, it, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good exercise in sort of keeping the, 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 keeping the ground uh, safe yeah. uh, for the future. And that's absolutely brilliant. And do you, do you know whether the club are going to put new seats? Obviously, they've been doing new seats. Do you think they're going to do the cop area this, this year? For this season starts, are there any plans to replace all the seats that they haven't done yet? I, I, like I, in the Bantam Bash I, I, and new seats? Yeah, I, I, think, I think that there, there are plans to, re to, to put seats everywhere around, around, around the ground. But I, I, the, the, I mean, don't quote me on this. No, but I, mean, I, mean, I mean, they might be doing uh, parts of the COP this summer. Yeah. Um, I mean, that leads on to, I mean, hopefully, one of the campaigns, a lot of bit, a campaign that I've long, I've done for a long time, yeah. is, is about rail seating, safe standing. All right. I prefer so, seating myself. I'm yeah. Not, I, I mean, I prefer... I, I, you can't see from the then. Well, you can't. Yeah. But... but well, it's particularly if we're as, as tiny as us. <laughs> so. Well, it's all mate, Bob. Well, yeah, but not by much. <laughs> anyhow, right? Anyhow, so, um, so yeah, uh, it'd be good to keep that in the in the uh, eye of the club. And, yep. Uh, um, and we'll go for a final yeah. question. Final question. Uh, so they seem to be doing the pitch. Do you think they'll get it sorted this year? Because it hey, was brilliant the season before, and then last year just. <laughs> Well, I think they've they've done some investment into the pitch. Yeah, and, and sure, it should have been under warranty. Put, put some gravel into it like. and something. And should it not have been under warranty anyway? Because it was going to for so many years, wasn't it? And it doesn't get what the the, the pitch, pitch itself. Yeah. I don't. I, something's gone wrong. I, well, something's gone wrong. And obviously, it's yeah. not the club's fault. I mean, I don't know exact detail, but like the the, the, the club of done all the best. Spoke yep. to uh, some uh, pitch experts yep. and uh, turf. Expert, and they've given them some advice, and they've invested in something. So hopefully, it's not going to look as bad as it did uh, towards the end of this season. No, I think it should be alright for next season. Hopefully, not, hopefully, hopefully, along with the fo fo more wood. consistent football. Touch wood, more consistent football. That's what we want. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, and I'll finish off by uh, giving you one of these, Ooh, which is magic. It's got my obviously my bantam small talk, and it's also got. Once they get my sponsors of Packer Transport, because remember, yeah. they give you results on the excuses. So, thanks for coming here tonight. Thanks for taking doing the interview the second time. We've got it right now, and I hope you. I w wish you the, all the best in your success on the Bantam Supporters Trust this year, buddy. Yeah, magic. Cheers, nice buddy. one. Thanks.